Now to a first news follow up on Sunday's fire in Warren. This morning, we learned an elderly man passed away after escaping the fire at his home. First News Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley headed back to the scene today and talked to fire investigators. Here's what she learned. This charred and boarded up house on Victoria Street Southwest in Warren, a visual reminder of a tragedy resulting from a house fire Sunday afternoon. We now know a 72-year-old man passed away. A spokesman for the State Fire Marshal's office says the man escaped the home, was helped by a neighbor, and collapsed. He's out need an ambulance. He's down on the ground. He's hurt. He's injured. Okay. We pulled him out the house. I know that there was resuscitation efforts at the scene. He was resuscitated, uh, but then we later learned that he passed away at the hospital. As you can see behind me, the home remains taped off as investigators continue working to figure out how the fire started. All they know is it originated in the living room. They don't think there was any type of foul play involved. Warren Fire Chief Ken Nussel says firefighters didn't find any working smoke detectors in the house. But it's just another reminder of the importance of working smoke detectors because we feel very strongly had there been a working smoke detector that he'd still be alive. The investigation into the fire's cause is ongoing. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.